Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm in Chalfons Peter Village Centre again. This is part two of our adventure around Chalfons Peter, where we go back in time and look and see how Chalfons Peter would have been with the help of these plaques. So this one shows the old cinema. That building there, that's the marketplace, which is still there. That is the cinema. Now, if we stand back, there you go. You can see that gable end. Those 1960s buildings or 70s, that's where the cinema would have been. It was demolished in the 1960s and um, replaced with the current building. On, on this video, we're gonna concentrate on the actual high street itself, which is here. The road looking up there, that's the marketplace. It used to be called Gold Hill Lane. So this is the oldest part of the village. Now, again, quite a lot of the village has been rebuilt, but we are able to see, you know, imagine a fair amount of what would have been here. Now, the next part, oh, here it is, is just here. So this plaque, rather than showing so much of a building or a scene from the village, it actually shows more about life. It shows a group of gentlemen going on a charabanic coach trip to see the races. So they're all waiting there. I don't recognise any of the buildings in the background. Um, they must have all been demolished. Quite a lot of the buildings along here are either Victorian. Um, there's not so many older buildings, but we're going to walk along here now, further along the high street, and try and find the next plaque, which should be somewhere just along here in fact no i know where it is from looking at the map it's actually in the co-op car park we saw the front of co-op in part one we're now around the back of co-op and this is the co-op car park and if we come into here on the wall here is the next plaque so it's here on the wall it was the beach cottage it was number 12 high street so i assume the frontage you see there was probably over there but it was home to a spy called Nun May. And um, it then was demolished in 1979 and now it's a car park. Right, let's go and find the next plaque, which again, I know where it is. It's very close to here. There are some on the other side of the high street, but we'll do them later on in the video. I'm gonna walk up this side of the high street and we'll come back there on the other side. So um, here is the library. So if you want to, get this leaflet this is where you can come and get it now I believe on the back of the library board there should be oh yeah here we are here we are so that is what the village once looked like looking down the high street so the cottage we just looked at that was there where I said where Budgins was in fact if you look there that that is probably the beech tree we see there just where that van is pulling out you can see the church in the background and some of the cottages are the same i can't yeah i can just see the church it's kind of half blocked by the um the beech trees leaves but that is how chalfont st peter looks um a lot less busier than it is today what i'm going to do now i'm going to carry on walking this way up the high street and um we're going to go more into a residential area now and find the next pack So as we walk along the high street in the rain, we come to Grange Road. This is where we shall find our next plaque. Now this was once the entrance to a stately home. You can see there's a post there. You might have already spotted there's a plaque on it. Another gate post there. So this would have been the main road. There is now a bypass just over there. So this road isn't anything like as busy as it would have been. But this was the gates to a stately home, which very sadly was demolished in 2016. It became a convent and um, the convent closed and they demolished it and they built a load of houses, which, you know, is understandable, but I'm really disappointed that they, they demolished the historic stately home. Um, so there isn't really a lot of the, what was there to see, that they kept the chapel and these gates posts survive. One day I'll do a video on this whole estate um, and I have got some footage, very sad footage of them demolishing it. So that'll be in another video, but here we are. Here is the, um, the post we're standing by. You can see there was once a little gardener's cottage here. And those fields over the other side of what is now the main road, that's all now Chalfont Heights, which is a private housing estate. We're gonna come on to that in a minute. It's a public footpath, so you can walk through there. So there's not actually any plaques there, but we will go there. But you can see the gardener's cottage would have been, um, well, literally here where this road here is. And if we look on, there's another plaque here it shows the um the gardener's cottage 
So this plaque here shows a better picture of the gardener's cottage. It also tells us that in the Grange itself, like I said, we will do a separate video on it, but in the Grange lived Isaac Pennington and his daughter married William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania. And Isaac Pennington was the Lord Mayor of London. So I'm now going to carry on walking along the lower road till we find our next plaque. There's the other gatepost just there. So yeah, this, is, this was once the entrance to a grand stately home. So I've now just come a bit further down the road to this road here, Woodside Close. Now, there's one thing that's not to do with the plaque, but I find interesting about it. I mentioned talking about how things have changed over the years and how new roads get built and everything. This is now Woodside Close, but it was once a through road into Chalfont Heights. So it had gone literally straight ahead. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But there is a plaque in a rather sort of unlikely place, but just here on this um, fence behind the tree. Now this plaque is, they used, is about the Chalfont hill climb, the Bugatti Owners Club. They used to do a hill climb up Woodside Hill, which we'll go and have a look at in a minute. So I'll let you have a closer look. So that was, of course, before the main A413 was put through and it was a through road. So it's been effectively split into this little cul-de-sac here. And um, there's another road on the other side of the A413. Just looking there, that house is still there, but um, we can't see it because the copper beech tree is in the way. But the track was 375 yards, admittedly I'm reading this off here, and um, somebody did complete it, R.A. Cookson, in his Type 49 Bugatti in 28 seconds in 1935, and then after that they stopped doing it. That wouldn't have been because the road was built, that would have just been, I don't know, for whatever reason. But if we walk along here, I want to show you how the main road has been put through here. So what happens, it would have gone, like I said, it would have gone straight ahead. They put the main road through, some 50s, 60s houses have been built going off down there. Just here, we're going to cross River Misborn. Now I said, although Chalfon Heights is a private road, it is all public footpaths. So you can see how they've had to alter but keep a public right away. There's River Misborn down there. Um, there'll be more of the River Misborn in future videos. So the road now bends down there. You can probably hear the traffic on the A413. This is public footpath. So we're going to go down here. I've always liked this footpath. I don't know why. I just um, just feels a bit sort of secret and out of the way. You've got the backs of houses on Lower Road down there, and there's some more modern houses that have been built in the gardens because the houses in Lower Road had quite long back gardens. So. They've built a couple of little cul-de-sacs and put some more modern houses in. So, like I said, we're now on a fairly modern footpath. I'm not sure the exact year they, they put this um, bypass in. If anyone knows, wants to comment, tell me, please do. Um, so the River Misborn goes along there. We're going to do a video on the Misborn in the future. Um, so watch out for that. Crossing the main road. Just got to bear with me a moment. I'm going to run after this car and uh, I want to show you how Woodside Road would have gone straight across. So all this here, this is a modern service road, but you can see the hill. That's where the Bugattis would have climbed. So they'd have uninterruptedly come across here. There'd have been a small bridge over the River Misborn and the challenge was to climb that hill there, which is now part of the Chalfont Heights housing estate. Um, it's a private road, but you can walk through there. I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go back to the village centre and um, we're going to go and find some more plaques. So we're back in the high street in the village centre. Over there was the beach cottage, which we saw earlier. Now one plaque here. It shows an old workhouse. So the workhouse would have been just over there. See where the man's walking now? That more modern building that's on the site although the workhouse and um, well it's, it's pictured in the 20s so i'm not sure when it was demolished it had very harsh conditions though to um deter scroungers which you know makes sense i'm now going to carry on got one more in the village center so here we are in the very rainy village center on the public toilet block is another plaque it shows barracks yard which is um where st peter's court currently now stands, we're going to have a look at that in a minute, but this is what it would look like. 
So it was the back of a coaching inn. It's where some of Oliver Cromwell's soldiers would have been stationed at their barracks. So yeah, quite an interesting place. I'm gonna now leave the public toilet block. By the way, I did say in part one, that's the modern public toilet block. Um, not the most exciting feature I know, but the older public toilets would have been just there at the gate, below the Gable End where it said Marketplace. This is St Peter's Court now. I'm gonna leave this video here and I'm gonna start the next video here because there's quite a lot. This is, you know, more modern and not the best part of Chalfon St Peter's. Well, it is, it is pleasant and everything, but you know, it's not attractive, that was the word I'm looking for. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching in part four. I should tell you more about this part of Chalfon St Peter, the high street and the church.